Good afternoon, welcome to a video. Here we are in the south of England and the wind's picking up. It's beautiful out there though, really, really nice. Thought I'd just come along and say hello and uh, do a little review of the Country Squire's new tobacco that was released, Whale Song. Um, I think I've smoked enough of it now to be able to give an honest opinion. It's a vapour and it's very, very nice. So the package arrived this morning. I had a bowl as soon as the package arrived and I've, I'm just on my second bowl now and um, I'm really enjoying it. So first of all a thank you to John David Cole who sent it to the UK really very very quickly and wrote me a lovely message. Uh, thank you Ross, we're thrilled to send this package to beautiful southern England and we hope you enjoy it, Country Squire. It's a nice touch, it's a very very nice touch and um, you know, the people at Country Squire, especially John David Cole, they're good people. And um, I know John is a Christian man and a, a, a good man. So it was nice to support their shop. Um, the actual tobacco comes in a box like this. With some black string on, which I've taken off. The inside looks like that, so you get your tobacco. I've had a couple of bowls out of it, so it's slightly smaller. Um, with whale song, um, and it's just a it's just a bag which can be dispensed. I would have thought into a um, a kilner, but like me, um, I do love a pouch. Putting a pouch in the back pocket, off you go. Um, and I can, I don't think this is going to last very long, this tobacco, if I'm honest, I'm, I'm enjoying it that much. You also, inside the box, get this, <coughs> which is a very nice touch. It's, um, Quinn Crawford wrote a lovely poem, and if you want to pause the, um, the video here and read that, then please do. I hope you can, um, you can focus on that maybe and on the back and the old glasses have to go on for this <clears throat> a little bit about whale song being an exclusive one-time blend composed of the finest choice tobaccos of flu cured and stoved virginias unflavored black cavendish and louisiana perique sounds good to me what makes this blend truly special however is the source of its ingredients we open the vaults of our tobacco cellar to bring you the last of our reserves from McClellan Tobacco Company. Whale Song was created to pay tribute to the legacy of McClelland, but also to peer forward to the distinguished blends that are to come. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? We hope this mixture is the beginning of that endeavour that reconnects us to our past with eyes wide open to our wondrous future. And um, it's nice because there's a blend um, description on one side. It's probably too small for you to see. Um, but I'm going to talk about the tobacco because I'm on my second bowl. I've smoked enough of it now, I think, to give an opinion. So uh, let's spark it up. Mm. It's a Virginia Perique, so a vapour. The bag note, apricot, apricot, orange zest, mulled wine, baker's chocolate. Yeah, I can kind of see that. The rim note is a caramelised brown sugar. Toast, brown butter. I can kind of smell some... Caramelised brown sugar, I guess. It's a sweet tobacco. Um, let's just say a sweet tobacco for the room note. Mm. The strength is medium to full. Yep, I would kind of agree with medium. Um, it's even got a description of the tobacco cut and packing method. So the three layer method or the frank method would be the best. Um, to be honest, I do the old style um, of British pipe packing, <laughs> which is you 
get your tobacco and you push it in with your finger. You test the draw and if it's not um, firm enough then you add more and you push it till you've got the, um, the bowl you know a couple of millimeters from the top and it doesn't matter if you do a three or a frank method or whatever as long as you've got the draw right you're good to go um, that's the key isn't it so tasting notes this is the, this is the important bit uh, it says hay citrus and cedar I definitely get citrus and a really nice it's like a zesty hay if that makes sense more lime I think than anything which I really like I love and that will be the Virginia's and I really like it and bread yeah I don't think I can taste cedar Also says plum, stewed fruit, and lemongrass. Now, for me, the lemongrass bit, I think, is the citrus. <clears throat> Can definitely taste that. Stewed fruit. Well, it's kind of dark fruits, like um, stone fruits. So, yeah, probably plum, which is very nice. And it says the finish, currants, figs, brisket, baking spices. <clears throat> to be honest, I do get the figs, again, the stone fruits. The baking spices, I, I can taste Perique. For me, that is the spice. Hmm. Yeah, a little layer of spice to finish. It is such a great, well-crafted blend. I um, I want to say it's the best blend I've had this year, I think. I mean, all the other small batches, the um, ones by C&D and that, I just think they fail in comparison. This is... A very, very well blended mixture using fantastic ingredients. There's no harshness. The problem is, you just want more and more. I really enjoy this tobacco. Very, very good country squire. You've absolutely nailed it. Um, wow. It even says some pairing suggestions. Coffee, tea, some porter stout, maybe a Manhattan or an old-fashioned cocktail. So it goes into a lot of lovely descriptions on here. But honestly, if you've got this tobacco, just sit back. And just enjoy it. It's like um, if you've had St James Flake, it's a toned down St James Flake with some citrus elements, very bready and well matured Virginias. It's just right up my street. I really love it. And you get a lovely sweet element as well. It's got to be the unflavoured black Cavendish. Yeah, stoved Virginias, um, they really, really brought out those kind of very dark fruit type flavours from the Virginia. Yeah, delicious. I'm so pleased I got some of this. So I've got another one of these which um, I'm going to share with Jeff, who uh, who didn't get any. Um, and I'm going to save this, I think. I'm going to kill in a jar. 
the rest of it up because you won't be able to see this again. That's it now. Um, that's the last of it. So it's a big thumbs up to the Country Squire and um, John David Cole. And I thank him for making this and sharing his last, I guess, of McClellan tobaccos with everybody who was able to get some. It's a fantastic blend. It's a, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, very, very nice. Guys, I'm not up to much else, actually. I'm waiting for uh, a pipe to come through. I've bought myself another suge. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, but I'm selling some pipes on eBay at the moment. An Ashton, a um, Calabresi, um, a Graybo, and a Dagna. So head on over if you're in the UK and have a look at those. They're finishing tomorrow. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, all the very best. Enjoy the weather if you're in the UK. Take care of yourselves. Bye.